Okay, folks, I think I think we are live here. Hold on a second here. Let me see here. Make sure everything is okay this time. Uh, make sure we have the right sound. I think we are live here. Hold on. Sound is good. Um, if you are joining us for the first time, welcome to daily live streaming. All right, daily live streaming. Uh, by the way, if you're a first timer, just let me know. Uh, let me know on the live chat. So. So let me acknowledge you. I uh, usually about uh, 30 to 50 people showed up during the live streaming. So yeah, you know, it's not a lot, but it is a lot of fun. Okay, it is a lot of fun. Make sure share this video. I mean, if you, one of your friends or family member might like this kind of format. Okay, uh, look, look like Ken is joining us this morning. I saw Ahmed earlier as well. And also we are doing the Discord uh, simulcast. So we are doing the simulcast with my Discord members. Uh, this morning, you know what? Let's make some espresso. It's been a while. Okay, let's dial in some espresso with a DF64 Gen 2. I've been using it for the last couple of days. Man, I have to say, I, I mean, I like it, okay? You know, even though I have a lot of, uh, a lot of grinders behind me, I mean, uh, knowing that I don't have to do RDT anymore, I mean, I like that. All my grinders, I mean, RDT is required, all right? Especially, I'm in Arizona right now. It's very dry, so, I mean, you definitely have to do RDT, but knowing that you don't have to do RDT with this $400 grinders, guys, $400 grinder, okay? I mean, even my, you know, $3,500 grinders right there, I have to do RDT. If not, it's gonna get really messy. So, yeah, I really appreciate that. So this morning, I'm gonna be dialing in coffee from, I, this is a, another local coffee roaster. It's not local, but it's on Yuma, Arizona. If you don't know where Yuma, Arizona is, it's kind of like middle of nowhere, okay? Middle of nowhere in Arizona. So Yuma is not the exciting place to be, but a place called Unknown Ground Coffee, okay? What a name, right? Unknown. I think perfect name for that uh, if you're from Yuma. Anyway, I got a couple of coffees here, but uh, let's try out the Mexican Chiapas. Uh, tasting notes are, we got roasted nuts, milk chocolate, and the last one is very interesting, green apple. Okay, green apple there. So let's find out. So we, we're gonna do, I'm gonna give it two shots, okay? Let's find out how much we're gonna get out of that green apple is going to be. So, should be fun, okay? By the way, who's into espresso? All right, let me know in the comment section as well. Okay. All right, here we go. So I already measured that 18 gram here. Uh, again, uh, this one you don't have to do RDT. You know what, tell you what, uh, let's uh, flip the camera, okay? Let's take a look because I do want to show you guys the uh, in action. Okay, that's a good view. Watch this. Okay. Coffee grinder is on. I'm just gonna put some coffee beans in it without any RDT. Looks like that. Pretty dry, I mean, as you can see. I mean, there's no, I mean, static is very minimal, okay? Because that one has a, it's called plasma generator built in. So, just gonna heat up my portal filter here. Let's do some quick puck prep. Again, very clean. Side view here. Uh, I do want to do a little bit of WDT though. Okay. This is very fluffy by the way. The grinds are very fluffy. 
uh, comes to ratio you know let's go like 1 to 2 to 1 to 2.5 okay well let's do that I'm gonna cover a different ratio but I'm gonna be using my Posado gravity distributor spins around great thing about the Posado is a 58.5 look at the edge there it's pretty clean edge Okay. All right, let's pull the shot. Before we pull the shot, I'm just gonna add my puck screen. Just add it. Here we go. Okay, folks, well, let's take a look. Looks, yeah, man, it looks really good for first time you are dialing. Look at the time as well. We are at 12 seconds. I'm at 30. Let's go like 43 grams at uh, 22 seconds. Okay, I think I I can go a little a uh, little finer as well. And let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's see what kind of tasting this we're gonna get out of it. Okay, here we go. Again, if you're joining us for the first time. Welcome to live streaming. Hold on. Let's give it a shot here. Lots of crema. Okay, smells pretty good. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's swerve it. Let's stir it a little bit. Just to make sure it mix. By the way, the crema here is. Have you guys just tried the crema before? They're pretty nasty. Okay. Just mix it in. I know some people love crema, but great to look at. But it's not fun to drink. Okay. Cheers, guys. Happy Thursday. Man. Green apple. Wow. Lots and lots of green apple. Okay, I can see toasted nuts in the end. A little nutty there. Where is milk chocolate? Okay, where is milk chocolate? I cannot taste the milk chocolate. A green apple is really, I mean, strong, okay? This is a kind of hit you on the face. It's not sour. Have you guys had a green apple before? You know, it's definitely, I got that. I wonder if I'm gonna dye a little finer, okay? I wonder if I'm gonna dye a little finer Hopefully, I'm going to bring out that milk chocolate. So let's do that one more time. All right. What can I do that one more time? Uh, by the way, so we are using the DF64 Gen 2. This is all stock, guys. All stock burst. Nothing added. So this is, kind, you know, that's kind of like out of box here. Okay. It's nothing special. All right. Nothing special. I'm just going to. Take my puck out. Let's do the, you know what? This time let's do direct dosing. Okay. Let's do direct dosing here. I'm just gonna clean up my potty filter. Yeah, let's do direct dosing. So you guys are going to see the both. Uh, kind of using the dosing cup and this time uh, let's do direct dose. All right, here we go. So this is dosing ring uh, comes with it. Just flip it around, just like so. Just like add it here. Okay, here we go. Direct dosing this time. Turn up my. Here we go. That's it. Grinder. Coffee going in. Here. 
again looks pretty good isn't it I'm just gonna remove it on the top yeah it's not an exact fit but I mean it works really good okay I mean I wish they're a little thinner to the side but that's why we have the you know you can use the like regular dosing ring here you can do the proper WD oh, so this is my homemade WDT tools okay you don't have to buy fancy WDT tools if you don't want to just make your own but some point I'm gonna show you really cool WDT tools hold on let me get that just gentle tap guys just gentle tap Last time, just use the force temper this time. Yeah. There we go. We are ready. Hit my puck screen. Let's lock it in. Let's try one more time. Oh, uh, you know what? Goodness. Forget it, guys. I forgot to change my grind size. That's what happens. That's what happens with the live streaming. But we're gonna we are going to do something different this time. I'm gonna do the pre-infusion shots, okay? Let's do something else. Pre-infusion shots, I'm gonna be playing with the paddle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go. I'm gonna run about a couple seconds there. And I'm gonna close it all the way to the end, okay? About like 10 or uh, about 10 seconds or so and let it go. And now I'm going to go about 15 seconds for about 50 grams. Okay, 50 gram in about 24 seconds. So this one definitely give you a different uh, tasting notes. So let's find that for you. All right, here we go. All right. I mean, there's a so many different ways to dialing in your espresso. Okay. There's a lot of recipes out there. I mean, that's why uh, espresso can be very interesting and fun. Okay. So this one has a, uh, about 10 second pre-infusion there. Sure. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Okay, so this one here, uh, I, I pre-infusion about 10 seconds. When the pre-infusion happens, you are going to kind of like soak the puck for in a little while and give you that full body to it. So now, I have a lot more milk chocolate, more balanced. And also, uh, you still got the green apple, but not like earlier. Okay, earlier has a, you got a really, really strong green apple, but this one is a lot more mellow. Okay, so it's a lot more, uh, a lot more tolerated, more balanced. Let's put it that way, more smooth. So, I mean, if you haven't tried like pre-infusion shot, pre-infused, uh, definitely try that as well. Okay. So, uh, so this is not the, it's not the same as Turbo Shop. I know Bruce is asking. So Turbo, uh, so Turbo Shop versus pre infusions are different, but again, they're both great. Okay, they're both different. Yeah, I mean, try both. Okay, try both. I think I, I, I prefer this. Okay, pre infusion, for sure. So, again, uh, so this coffee is about uh, eight days old. Uh, still stir too soon but you know I guess I prefer between like 10 and 14 days out idea but you know what try it okay? drink it anyway if I were you if you got a fresh roasted uh, coffee if you haven't tried it yet try with the day one okay and wait okay uh, wait about a couple of days maybe three and five and see how uh, those coffees are developing uh, times go by okay 
definitely if you haven't done it yet make sure to try that as well I mean fresh roast coffee is not as good as you think I'm, I'm, we are talking about really really fresh coffee I mean you do want to wait about at least seven to ten days minimum okay so at least time to degas time to develop it okay develop the tasting note there again I've been using the DF 64 gen 2 with the regular birds guys just the regular stock birds uh, with plasma generator generator works really good I know someone asked me I'm going to uh, uh, put other birds in it yes okay for sure and also I just got the uh, hold on here. Let, let me show you guys okay I, I just got the uh, uh, Mizen birds uh, p64 has a uh, they come up with their own birds so this is the Mizen bird gen 1 that's already have that on my uh, p64 they just released the Gen 2, okay, and I'm going to be installing uh, shortly, all right. So I'm going to give you guys a little preview. So this is the Meisenberg Gen 2, 64 millimeter. So if you're going to, uh, I'm going to find out, okay, how this is uh, different from Gen 1, okay. So it should be uh, fun as well. Speaking of it, uh, who wants to see uh, P64 right now with the same cup of coffee? Okay, anyone who wants to see it? If you do, just make sure to thumbs up on the video. Right, it's a 12 people to thumbs up, so make sure to thumbs up on the video, uh, which means you guys want to see it. Okay, all right, so which means uh, you guys letting me know that you guys want to see that. Uh, I know Ahmed wants to see it, two people wants to see that so far, Soprano wants to see it as well. Okay, Got 16 thumbs up. Okay. But meantime, uh, let's see here. Okay, if you're joining us for the first time, uh, this is what we do every day. We just kind of like hang out with my Discord guys, Discord friends, just hang out, make some coffee throughout the day. Uh, this is my workplace. Uh, I own a small computer shop in Arizona here. I uh, turn one room into kind of like coffee desk. It's not a studio, okay? Let's not kid ourselves, all right? This is not a studio, just a coffee desk. Make some coffee here. Uh, so next couple of days, I'm going to be unboxing, okay? I'm going to be unboxing, this is going to be really cool. Auto comb from Brista Hustle, all right? Auto comb from Brista Hustle. If you don't know what this is, so this one used by the 2022 uh, Brista World Champions. Actual World Champion used this. This is WDT tool, okay, from Brista Hustle. So, I uh, cannot wait to share with you guys. It should be a lot of fun. Okay, I cannot wait. So this is kind of like, okay. So this is my homemade WDT tools, right? Okay, this is the homemade WDT tools. And this is kind of a Formula One car of WDT tools. Okay. So this is more like go car here. This is Formula One. Okay, so it should be a lot of fun. And it's not cheap either. Okay, this is a very pricey WDT tools. This one cost me next to nothing. Okay. Cost me what? Just a wine coke and some uh, acupuncture needle. This is the state of the art. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Uh, Stefano say, do it now. Uh, not yet, okay. I have to do some homework with this. So this is not like just open and use it. It's not a, a, you have to do some tiny bit of work before, okay? Tiny bit of adjustment before. So make sure before I'm gonna do this, uh, I know what I'm doing first. So I just got this last night. All right, so I just got this last night. So I'm very excited about to share that with you guys. So it should be, should be very interesting. So this is kind of like, comes to WDT tools. This is a, a great get. Okay, I know if you are into WDT tools, uh, Weber makes it's called Moonraker. Okay, the Moonraker. Uh, Moonraker is uh, just amazing look. The one thing I don't like about Moonraker, you have to go slow. All right, you have to turn very slowly. For autocom, you can actually go fast. Okay, that's the one thing I like about it. Very satisfying. Okay, very satisfying tools there. So, all right, so let's brew some coffee with Meisenberg. All right, with a P64. 
Uh, let's do again. Uh, let's do 18 gram. Uh, we are using the coffee from unknown. Guam from Yuma, Arizona. Okay, Yuma, Arizona. So far, so good. All right, I really enjoy this. Uh, according to Bruce, there is a knockoff for a uh, Moonraker on Etsy store for 3D print. I wonder how much that thing costs though. It's not cheap either, right? It's like 40 or 50 bucks? Could be more? Yeah, let me know, Bruce. How much is it? Yeah, I'm very curious about that. So let's get the 18 gram of oh, $50. Okay. $50 for 3D print. I mean that's uh I mean that's a lot of money, okay, first of all. But there's a lot of parts to it, okay. I mean you I mean, you have to see uh, you have to see the Moonraker. I mean, they're pretty impressive. But you know what? I have to say, uh, I've been watching uh, Autocom. I mean, they are pretty impressive. Okay, so uh, so I'm gonna be unboxing that and they show you guys. We have a Ducker Bill. It's a 형님. 안녕하십니까? Someone call, uh, call me 형님. That that's nice to know. Somebody calling me Hyungnim. Hyungnim means it's kind of like older brother. And I know a lot of people call me Ajashi because, which means old man. I mean, Mr. in Korean. Yes. Anyway, uh, so let's, uh, let's get going here. Again, I mean, so, that's, so this is what we do at uh, our live streaming, all right? And so the other day, I was uh, uh, edit one of my videos the other day. So what I usually do is I take my live streaming I, I do edit video. So one video is like 50 minutes long, okay? After I cut out the, all the nonsense, guess what? It's only about six minutes, okay? Usually about six minute content and I fit in that with a 50 minute uh, program, all right? Anyway, uh, so let's get going. I got 18 gram going here and then let's get the P64 out. All right, here we go. P64 is on this corner. Hold on a second here. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go without RDT for you guys, okay? I'm gonna go without the RDT. See how much static we're gonna get. All right. I'm gonna show how much static we're gonna get out of it. Uh, comes the grind setting. I'm just gonna. I have no idea. I'm just gonna set at my last grinder setting. Yeah. 18 gram going in here. So a lot more static. Again, I mean, there's some static on the bottom, but it's not that bad. But with uh, Gen 2 with a plasma generator, it makes big difference, all right? It makes a big difference there. I'm gonna be using the same poly filter. Let me show you. The reason why I like the uh, puck screen, this is why. Having a clean puck, the dry puck, okay? Because the puck screen uh, press down the the uh, express, you know, uh, the uh, coffee grinds there. Just press down, give it a nice dry. It's going to make your taste uh, coffee better, no, okay? But at least I like to you know easier clean up there. That's the only reason. Just gonna. <clears throat> Clean up my port filter. Uh, you know, half the fun for making espresso is uh, kind of like puck prep. I mean, it is a lot of fun. I'm going to do some WDT tool here as well. I cannot wait to 
break out the auto comb. Okay. Do the exact same process with my gravity tools. All right. So this is the Meisenberg we're gonna about to brew coffee with. Put on my puck screen. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, well, let's get a bigger cup this time. Okay, shot looks good with without the proper dialing in process there. I'm just gonna go a little longer, okay. It is a little fast. 50 gram and 19 seconds. All right. It seems like a little under extracted, but still looks really good. Look at the last crema. Let's give it a try. Okay, uh, so this is a Meisenberg. And as you can see, I have uh, plenty of room to go down as well. Go really fine. So with the Meisenberg, again, we have a lot of room too adjust <coughs> all right okay let's give it a try there so this is the Meisen here guys cheers smells pretty good as well man I have to say more balanced if I'm gonna dial it in one more time, uh, they're a lot more roundish, right? More smooth than the Gen 2. But you know, I cannot wait to do some blind tasting, okay? I cannot wait to blind tasting there. So uh, hopefully I'm gonna have somebody on uh, next, man, ne uh, next week or so, because I'm really curious, because I'm really curious about uh, the Gen 2. Okay, the, the stock birds are, you know, they are supposedly Italian meal style. Um, man, I have to say it's not bad, not bad at all. I mean, I'm talking about for the price. The price of under $400, 399 okay. And compare that with this cup right here. So this is a Meisenberg from Optional. We are definitely a compare apple to orange here, guys. Okay, but for our... I mean, if you're some of you likes coffee, but if you don't want to spend too much money, okay, uh, if you want, if you're looking for value for your money, I mean, goodness, I mean, DF is really good for the value, all right, what you're getting, especially the Gen 2 with the plasma genera generator. But if you don't, I mean, if you're a person that, you know, have a boatload of money, while you look at the F64, right? You are going to look at P64, okay? Or Capitec MC5, or Option O uh, P100. You mean that's, uh, again, if you have a boatload of money. But most of us out there, we are looking for the value, okay? We are looking for the value, but uh, it all depends on what you are looking for, all right? All uh, and what you are looking for in your coffee. If you're a coffee hobbyist, we, we are going to have a different conversation, okay? But if you if you are the person that just want to make good coffee in the morning, nothing else. If you want to, kind of rule, rule of thumb is if you spend more than half an hour every single day making your coffee, I consider you as a hobbyist. If you spend less than 10 minutes or 15 minutes, I mean, you just want to make good coffee. That's it. For you, uh, don't bother, okay? S stop looking at gadgets and tools. It's gonna be, you know, give you a temptation, all right? But again, if you are spending more than half an hour every single day making, making some coffee and also looking forward to coffee next morning, I mean, you are the one, okay? I think uh, I call you guys are the one percenter, all right? Call you guys one percenter. All right, so let's uh, take a look at some of your comments here. All right, let's take a look at some comments. 
Uh, Nick has, uh, what would you advise for someone who has older DF64 worth upgrading to Gen 2? Maybe wait for the DF64 V or, G ah, man. If you already have an uh, older uh, DF64, uh, wait, okay? Wait for DF64 V. I love the DF64 V with the valuable uh, RPM controller. And I'm hoping uh, Joe from Espresso Outlet, I know he's working on it for a while, uh, uh, put the plasma generator in, all right? I mean, it could be the game changer, okay? Plasma generator on DF64V, or if not, I mean, so this is big enough to put uh, RPM controller as well. So maybe Gen 2 with RPM controller, maybe. But if you wanna make really slick, DF64V with plasma generator built in. Think about that, that should be spectacular. All right, that's kind of like, you know, P64, okay? But again, you cannot uh, compare the build quality, okay? You cannot compare the build quality, that's the for sure, all right? But I mean, if you're an average person, ah, I don't want to say even average. If you're a coffee hobbyist, that don't, uh, you don't want to spend too much money, I mean, DF is uh, very uh, attractive, okay? And I know there's other grinders out there like Timer Sculptors, 078, 078S, and the 064 and 064S. Uh, the Timer Grinders are, are pretty interesting too. But, but DF, DF has been coming out for a while. It's been, it's been out for the last five years. Okay, so it has some track records. With the newer grinder like Timer, just came out. So there's no whole lot of track record as well. So uh, again, if you wanna buy unknown versus you buy known, okay? It's not a perfect grinder. DF is not a perfect grinder. But I feel like they're upgrading every single iteration. With the DF, a Gen 1, okay, has a version 5. La last time I checked, has a version 5, all right? So this is the DF64 Gen 2. This is the version 1. I imagine, you know, it's going to be keep upgrading it, you know, keep updating it, adding some features as well. All right. Okay, what else? Uh, we have uh, Ender wants to send me some coffee there. All right, hold on a sec. Can you, uh, let's see, we've got some few people on this morning. Again, uh, I'm glad you guys are here this morning. And I uh, definitely... Uh, I'm going to be unboxing this out of comp next few days. All right, so you guys to see in action. Okay. Uh, Robert asks, I just want a really good espresso. Have a Bravo Vista Pro. It's okay. Built in grinder. That, uh, here, here's the thing about the Bravo Vista Pro, Robert. Uh, they're fine. They're a great grinder, a, a great built in grinder. As long as you feel doing the like, like medium to light roast. That's fine, okay? But once you're getting into light roast with very interesting uh, tasting notes, that's a different story, okay? But, I mean, for 90% of coffee you're gonna use, if you're looking for like classic Italian style espresso, which means what? Dark chocolate, nutty, creamy, what else? A uh, little bit of like, you know, kind of like free notes. I mean, they're perfect. Uh, built-in grinder is fine, okay? But, I mean, if you're beyond that, uh, you are become a coffee hobbyist. Uh, I mean, if you have enough, if you want to spend a lot of time on coffee, definitely uh, I encourage you to get a, another, maybe flat burr. So built-in grinder is conical. So just get yourself a nice flat burr, okay? And then start playing with the, you know, coffees more, but I mean, if you're just regular coffee drinker, just want to have a good espresso, pro with a built-in grinder is, Definitely sufficient. Okay, definitely sufficient there. Okay, I think we are good for this morning. Again, uh, so this is the coffee from Unknown Ground from Yuma, Arizona. Yeah, I, I think I, I think they're they're gonna do just fine. Okay, I think they're gonna do just fine. Uh, packaging is interesting. Yeah, name is pretty cool. Unknown. Yeah, I'm gonna shout out to Unknown grind coffee anyway uh, i hope you guys having a wonderful morning 
Uh, I'll be back later, okay? I'll be back later some point today. And I'm going to have a special guest this weekend, this Saturday morning. All right, I'm going to have a special uh, guest on Saturday morning. I'm going to do live chat. Uh, I'm going to let you know tomorrow, uh, tomorrow for sure who that is. All right, and uh, I just want to be, just make sure confirm that guest. It's going to be a live chat as well. Uh, you know, we do a lot of live chat, so uh, it's going to be fun. I cannot wait. All right, I'm going to see you guys this afternoon.